Now, we know that when Paul Heyman returns to the WWE, it's usually on the side of Brock Lesnar. He is there to support Brock Lesnar. He is there to be Brock Lesnar's mouthpiece. But there is a major change report on Paul Heyman. Welcome to the Brass Show and Entertainment on YouTube.com, where I always keep things prolific, consistent, and dedicated. Click the link below to donate to my future on YouTube. You always get something in return, and you could even get LED board status. So we all know Paul Heyman, we know his mind, we know his vision, we know how good he is on the mic and how solid all around Paul Heyman is, right? Well, now the WWE, we all know he's going to be coming back with Brock Lesnar, but here's the twist. He's going to be returning to the WWE sooner than we think, but this will be without Brock Lesnar until Lesnar does return because WWE wants to find a way to get Lesnar on TV and write him in a storyline with purpose. So they are now wanting to, they are interested, the WWE is interested in pairing Paul Heyman up with other superstars, perhaps new NXT call-ups. You got to wonder, this whole club thing with, you know, supposedly Nakamura or Samoa Joe, um, you know, or Finn Balor, the Balor Club, you got to wonder, would this be part of the new Dangerous Alliance? Remember Paul Heyman used to assemble a group called the Dangerous Alliance Paul Heyman has been a part of many teams and factions and entities and companies. But imagine if he was a part of the club with Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows and Finn Balor and whoever else they decide to add to the group. So yes, right now the update is the WWE wants to put Paul Heyman with another superstar. But the feeling is that the writing will be a lot better and it, they will not become flops like Ryback and Curtis Axel did. Because we remember, we thought that Ryback... And Curtis Axel being with Paul Heyman, that was going to escalate and elevate them. That was going to do wonders for them. But we all know that, that that fell flat. And really, it wasn't on Paul Heyman's hands. It really wasn't a Ryback fault. It wasn't Curtis Axel's fault. It was just, it was, it was not meant to be. Not many times do superstars get with Paul Heyman and become failures. You become a Paul Heyman guy or a Paul Heyman girl automatically your career is going to go places it's never been before. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to take Sean's view in entertainment places I've never been before, make sure to donate to my future on YouTube. It will help me in great ways you don't even know. Your status will get put up, your donation on the new LED bright board. You will also get something in return. I always give something back in return. Your comments, your opinions, more news, rumors, and lies to come on this very momentous Memorial Day weekend. Subscribe.